kid. Back off! You're not going anywhere until you fix this! Listen, I don't know what happened, but you better be ready to disappear. Why? You're a conduit now, kid. A bioterrorist. Welcome to the world of Run For Your Life. And that's what I aim to do, even if I gotta go through you. I'm not going anywhere until you fix this. This ain't something that can be fixed. Then at least show me how to control it. Ain't got time. Day you face coming. And she knows I'm on to her plan. You owe me! This fire's only gonna buy two, three minutes to version top! I gotta get now! Ain't going back to Curtin K! Yeah, well... Whoever's coming is coming for you, man, not me! You've been seen, son! Folks here know about you! And she's got a way of making people talk! Good luck, kid! Oh, hell no! No way I'm gonna die in a fish guttery! Listen, just let me go! Just let me walk away! Nobody's ever got to know about any of this. Wait a minute! Stop! Let's talk about this! Oh, Henry. I am so very disappointed in you. Well, we got him, right? I, uh, flushed that mean old conduit for you. Good job, everybody. Especially you, guys. Bioterrorist. Henry Daughtry. I was a bioterrorist. Conduit. Is a word used by traitors who sympathize with their cause. You're not a traitor, are you? I, uh, I, I try not to be. <laughs> you seem nervous. No, I'm, I'm not nervous. <laughs> it's been my experience. There are only two reasons for people to be nervous. Either they're cowards, or they have something to hide. Well, you know, I also get... Nervous around pretty girls. You were in there with that bioterrorist for some time. Did he share anything with you? Um, share. Did he say anything to you? Share any of his ramblings about conspiracies? Oh, um, no, he didn't. He didn't share anything. <laughs> That's good to hear. You see, we are engaged in a life and death war with these bioterrorists, and it's my job to do whatever it takes to ensure that we win that war. What? Well, that's kind of funny because <laughs> aren't you a bioterrorist too? Okay, okay. Okay. Yes, I am. Sometimes you have to fight fire with fire. And it's clear now that you're not a coward, which means there's something that you're not telling me. Well, what, are you, what are you doing? You can't do this, you crazy. I've got rights. And I have the legal authority to suspend those rights whenever I feel it's necessary. Like now, for instance, I'll ask again. And I will tell you again. I'm told that hurts. Maybe I know what happened to no, there. No, Betty, don't. So. Really? Still nothing. Well. Unless you decide that you do have something to tell me, I'll go chat with that nice old lady. But you should know, concrete is especially hard on brittle bones. And if she doesn't talk, I'll just move on to the next one, and the next, until I find someone who does. So do you have something you want to tell me? Or do you prefer that I move on to your friends here?
Thanks. Then I have no further use for you. Hope you're not as stubborn as that one. Are you? Betty? Yeah, I'm told that hurts. into a hospital? How long have I been out? Nick, ma'am, what the hell happened? Could stop her. Oh, my God, Betty. I'm glad to see you're up. Yeah. I guess Augustine wasn't bluffing, huh? Can turn you in to protect themselves. We're Comish. We take care of our own. I guess I did the right thing. Can you imagine what that bitch would have done to me if I'd actually talked? Probably the same thing she did to everyone else in this room when you didn't. Do me a favor and um, tell everybody else that uh, I said uh, thanks for taking one for the team. Concrete the legs? It's gonna take more than that. No. Glad to see fast healing seems to be a part of your new uh, thing. Uh, speaking of which, uh, the craziness with the hands, is that gone? I don't know, man. There's no smoking in the longhouse, remember? <laughs> right. And I wouldn't want to get in the way of anyone's recovery. Recovery? Hey, Delson, these, these people aren't getting any better. You're dying, man. You don't know that. No, but the doctors who came through here when you were out, they do. And they said that... They said the only way those shards are coming out is the exact same way they went in. What? But that, that was Augustine and her concrete power. Yeah. And screw it, man. Looks like you and me are going to Seattle and we're gonna go get her. Whoa, 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 wait, what? You think you're just gonna charm her into coming back here with you? Come on, man, I know you took a bump to the head, but you two didn't exactly hit it off last time you were together. 
Reggie, I did this. And I gotta fix it. No, damn it, Dustin, you just got back on your feet. Look, I know you want to help, but the doctors have already said the only... The only way it's getting out is with the same power. I get it. Which means... We don't actually need Augustine. We just need her power. <laughs> okay, now you've lost me. I'm a goddamn power sponge, remember? If I got smoke, why can't I get concrete? <laughs> yeah, but what, what if smoke was just a fluke, huh? I mean, think about it, you'd have to go through, a, what, a thousand DUP guys just to get to her? Yeah, probably something like that. I'll explain in the truck. What truck? I don't have a truck, I... That's my truck. All right, I got this whole thing figured out, okay? We, we hit the town, we load up at the all-you-can-leech conduit power buffet, we maybe swing by the Space Needle, always wanted to see it, and then we're back home to save some lives. You do realize when we hit the town, there's a fair chance the town's gonna, you know, Head back. What does that even mean? It means that Seattle has half a million people that aren't exactly thrilled about the bioterrorists that are already there. You think they're going to welcome you? Wake up, man. Look, don't worry, Dell, all right? We're going to fix this thing. I'm going to find you a cure. A cure? But shooting smoke out of your fingertips isn't exactly normal, man. Just because it's not normal doesn't mean that it needs a cure, okay? Van Gogh wasn't normal. Gandhi wasn't normal. Yeah, but people weren't scared of Gandhi, all right? People are afraid of bioterrorists. They're freaks. See, that's pre-programmed bull... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Shit. Great. Huh. Well... Looks like we're walking the rest of the way. <laughs> Walk? What? Yeah. Where are you going? Hey! Damn it. Holy crap, would you look at this. Uh, look, you know, if you're having second thoughts, I completely... Are you kidding me? This is amazing! This is destruction. This is self-defense, man. The roadblock was set up to attack them. Yeah, because they're bioterrorists. Well, it didn't stop them, and it's not gonna stop this bad boy either. Oh, this must be the mothership. Nelson? Hey, are you okay? Okay? I'm better than okay, man. I think I picked up a new trick. Yep. <laughs> oh, God. yeah. Definitely new and improved. Nelson, this is not improved, man. We're trying to fix the problems you already have, not add new ones. What do you think? Augustine is just sitting on her ass? I gotta power up if I'm gonna go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Concrete Queen. Hey, I'm hoping to avoid that. Listen, there might be another way that we can get to Augustine. What other way? I, what other I way? I have a few connections in Seattle, all right? Some in the police force. No, if no, we no, get no, no, no. This is not the point where Reggie swoops in and makes everything all right. Well, this is not your problem to fix. It is mine. Oh, is somebody there? Can you hear me? There. Perfect. You want to go help somebody? Go save damsel in distress. Anyone? It's not... Right. Fine. We both go. Come oh, on. no, 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 no. You I go play super cop, okay? I will catch up with you in a minute. All right, but don't go anywhere. And for God's sake, don't touch anything! I'm gonna touch everything. Hello. You're up first, little guy. <laughs> 